Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey there. I'm Ralph. I'm behind the camera. And uh, we are at the sink here because I, see. I am trying to cut open this beautiful uh, boneless pork loin here that, oh, well, did we get such a, it was on sale at the market. And you know what? Sometimes when you don't know what's for dinner, see what you can get a good deal on, right? Right. Um, so today's episode is going to be a pork roast? Yes, we're going to roast this pork loin. Um, let me see, it is four and a half pounds, six dollars and twenty-three cents. How's that for a deal? Mm -hmm. huh? Sounds good to me. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just cutting it over the sink and I'm going to give it a quick sort of a, just a Cold rinse. water rinse and yeah. what is that for? Just to kind of get all the, you know, some of the, they soak this in uh, salt and whatever and I'm just, I just want to get, get it kind of rinsed and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few paper towels here, we're going to just pat or dry. Okay. So you have, uh, have it on a, what, a parchment paper? A piece of wax paper. Okay. Just to, again, we're dealing with raw foods here, right? And so we always talk about kind of you know, proper handling with raw foods. And so, just to not get pork juice all over the counter, I'm just using this, this wax paper. Now I'm gonna bring it over here. And we're gonna make a little rub-dub for it, okay? Oh, I see you have a lot of fun looking uh, spices there. I do, and the, you know what? The, the great thing about something like uh, pork roast here, pork loin roast, is you can season it however you like. Um, but there are certain things that sort of enhance, go well with pork, certain kind of herbs and right. savories. Right, bring so, out the flavors. Yeah. So here's what we've got here, okay? I've got about a tablespoon of brown sugar. That's just for a little bit of sweet in the background. I've got a tablespoon of kosher salt, a tablespoon of black pepper. I've got about a half, oh, of a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon, or half of a teaspoon, I guess. Pepper of flakes? Pepper flakes for a little heat. This is a teaspoon of celery salt, okay? A teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, I've got a couple tablespoons here of, this is Herbes de Provence, uh, which is a sagey blend. and rosemary. Those are great pork flavors, herbs to go with, okay? This is actually a teaspoon of poultry seasoning which also has some of the same herbs, not all, that um, the Herbs de Provence does. But those Pat are things that go well with pork. Very well even with pork. Even though it says poultry, okay. Yeah, even though it's poultry, it, um, a, lot of them, a lot of those, I think because poultry is a light kind of flavored meat, and you know, pork is too really when you think mm -hmm. about it, and so they are compatible. I got some dry mustard here, a teaspoon of that, onion powder, a teaspoon, paprika a teaspoon okay now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna blend all this together like shake this. rattle and roll mm -hmm. it together like uh, I'd normally do this in a bowl or something but I wanted to kind of show everybody simple. what so this what uh, was in it this pork roast is gonna go onto this pan or well we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna roll it in this okay we're gonna roll the pork roast in the pan here to get it coated with our our little uh, rub. Yes. I see it's okay. getting kind of blended there, yeah. Then what I'm going to do, let me turn this on. This is what we're going to actually roast it on. But what I'm going to do first, this is the bottom of a broiler pan, only because it's sort of the only thing I had that was sort of big enough. I'm going to, we're going to get it seasoned um, with this rub, and then I'm going to sear it on that pan and then it's going to go in the oven okay so i've got the oven to 450 degrees hot oven we're going to put uh we're going to put this in there on the stove top just to give it a little bit of a brown okay so shaking that up and uh, yep. listening to some rock and roll from eddie cochran who was born on this day in 1938 oh he was yeah we just picked this album up uh this weekend for is he still around order no, he died tragically in a car accident in the 60s, along with, um, I think Gene Vincent was in the car, but didn't die at that time, and uh, his 
fiance and songwriting partner Sharon Sheely, who wrote a lot of his hits with him, and um, she was kind of not really recognized, unfortunately, but a, a female songwriter. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I I didn't know much about her, and I uh, I think she deserves credit. She wrote "Poor Little Fool" for Ricky Nelson. Oh yeah, and she wrote something else uh, for Eddie Cochran and a few other hits for him. And she actually created the show Shindig for television with her DJ husband. Like a shindig. So anyway, Sharon Sheely is a name to look up if you're interested in great American music and history of singer songwriters and songwriters especially women that don't often get recognized so anyway back to the pork roast very good well thank <laughs> you for that little musical detour you we like we always like to cook with music it's just uh, yeah. we always like to have music on especially ones that we just found like the, yeah. there's always a record in the background that we've just picked up and this per worked out perfectly when Kevin said uh, let's find some music for today I thought well it's his birthday let's go with Eddie Cochran um now, you see this? See how nice and coated it is? Yes. We're going to... Oh, wow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sear, you know, a couple, uh, one and then two, and then we'll turn it over. And then we're going to put it in the, um, in the oven. So how long does this searing take? Just until it gets a nice brown crust. A couple minutes? Yeah, or? well, let's see. We'll see. I'm, well, Your my hands, hands are, are... I'm all porked out I on can my turn hands. It up. See, I turn it to high. Okay. The other way. Yeah, the other high. Okay. Very good. And <laughs> what we'll do is we'll... Um, I could kind of things mm. cleaned up here. I can smell those seasonings. I yeah. smell a little mustard, a little brown sugar. And um, and then what we'll do is uh, as soon as we're... We'll get a, get another... We'll show you a, uh, a shot of it being seared, and then we'll get it in our hot oven to roast out. This is a different angle. We'll be right back. Okay. Now that the smoke yeah. is cleared. Here we go. We've got it. Look at that. Nice Whoa. sear on it. Okay. It is a nice sear. Now, uh, we're just going to put her in our oven and let it roast. Did um, you preheat the oven? Yes, the oven's preheated. It's uh, about a 450 degree oven. We're going to let this go for probably about an hour or so. Um, we'll keep a monitor on it. What we want to do is we want to get the internal temperature up to around 165, 170 degrees, okay, um, uh, for pork. So we're going to kind of just keep an eye on it, and we'll be back uh, with a wonderful roasted okay gang you know what it's been an hour and a half an hour and 25 minutes we um i checked it in an hour and the internal temperature was still not where it needed to be we were at about 125 degrees so i figured about probably another 25 minutes or so so now it should be ready and now it should be ready wow it smells great it looks Doesn't good it? too um still sizzling we're gonna take our let's take our temperature here we're gonna go right in the middle of the roast see what's going on here uh, yes 140 160 past 165 it's creeping towards 170 and that's what we want right yep and then what else we want to do is we want to just let this thing you know how we need our rest Ralph yeah well <laughs> the roast also needs its rest so we're just gonna put up okay I'm gonna do this so okay. when you take uh, meat out of the oven or out of the frying pan if you're cooking it uh, you let it rest and that's a way yeah. for the flavors to kind of and and the flavors and the juices, juices okay to do their thing uh, to kind of uh, get back into the um, into the roast. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to let it rest for about you know, maybe about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to get our sides together, which we've got um, mm. from our roasting episode. We've been eating squash for the past two days and loving it. So and think, loving it. We've got some squash there. And I also put some... Oh, smells so good and Ralph this is our our beets roasted our beets. roasted beets fresh from the farmers market yeah. that I put in the oven too to warm up and uh, we're gonna have those what a what a great fall 
autumn menu. Kind of menu, yeah. So we've got beets and we've got squash and we've got this delicious pork roast, which we will carve into after it has a chance to kind of rest out a little bit uh, for a few minutes. And we'll come back and take a look at the final. Looks product. like somebody's sitting down to do some carving. <laughs> I am. So we are going to have our supper here. But let me, I transferred it Ooh, to a the big reveal. little carving plate. And so, but yeah, sh sure is beautiful, huh? Yeah. So think of beauty. So what we're gonna do now. The the nice thing, obviously, this is a fairly large roast. It shrunk a little bit. That's all right. I'm cooks, hungry. But <laughs> not that not that we can't handle it. But you know what? We're gonna have enough for sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And look at that. You getting that look? Yeah. And do you see? It's moist and beautiful and we're going to have enough for a couple of days mm -hmm. at least um, of wonderful kind of pork meat. crust yeah and Whoop. i was asking kevin about the um you know we love using fresh herbs and things like that from our friends or from our own um, uh, backyards but um he was saying those don't work on a rub obviously because they would just burn up they would just burn they, you have them yeah with so a high, high temperature now we could you could make a, a gravy for this if you want there's some sort of juice a little bit on the other end if you wanted to use it but um then we're going to have some of our beautiful beautiful beets roasted beets this has just got salt and pepper on here and that's all and, and then, then of course squash has butter and honey no butter and brown the, sugar we did the um from the squash episode if you haven't seen it we did we actually did a roasting episode where we roasted these beets. We roasted acorn squash with sort of a sweet, and then we roasted a butternut squash with the savory. So here's the here's the plate. But we always say the proof's in the pudding, right? So the truth's in the tasting. Mm. Now you're not just saying that because you're on camera. No, I'm not. <laughs> It's good. Delicious. Um, you know, you have the the herby, um, really flavorful outside, and then just you know what? That wonderful porky flavor on the inside. Yeah, I love pork. So you put that with the beets and this. Mm, oh my gosh, those are so good. We're gonna have ourselves a wonderful harvest meal. Yeah, harvest supper and look out and watch the leaves change on the trees and enjoy yeah. this wonderful meal that we're so fortunate to have so we sure had fun making this one we sure we, did thank you for being a part of it and listening to oh. um eddie cochran eddie cochran on his birthday and, and it's also chubby checker's birthday uh stevie ray vaughn and felix papillardi to name a few other music wow people. so but anyway must be something about the date. Yeah. <laughs> so here it is. Early um, October. Pork loin, ro pork loin roast. And um, we're so glad that you could be with us. And you know what? We'll see you next time here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye-bye.